Hello everyone, myself Dr. Devanjan Mandal. I am a physical therapist. Today we are going to perform foraminal compression test, which is also known as curling test. This test we generally do for those patients who had a history of intermittent pain or numbness or tingling sensation in the finger or arm. So Bradley and colleagues they describe to do this test in three stages. First, we have to do in neutral position, then to the unaffected side then to the affected side. So while doing this test, if stage 1 or stage 2, if it is found positive, then we should not go for the next stages. We are going to jump directly to the third stage. So we have to tell the patient to do side flex, try to touch your ear to the shoulder. If this reproduces the symptom, that means it's a positive test. Or if it doesn't reproduce the symptom, that time we have to apply a sharp downward pressure. So what do we have to do? We have to interlock our finger like this. Then a sharp downward pressure. If this reproduces the symptom, that means pain starts from the neck, shoulder and it's going up to the arm. Then only we will consider it as a positive sign. Dermatomal distribution of pain and altered sensation can give us a good uh, diagnostic criteria like pain is coming from which nerve root might be from C4, C5 or C5, C6 level. If it doesn't reappear the symptom, means like if pain is not going to the arm, then we can't consider it as a positive sign. When patient is bending the neck to the side position, it can compress the intervertebral foramen, which can lead to this kind of symptom. It might be due to spinal canal stenosis or it might be there is some arthritis change or might be some facet joint arthropathy or there might be some spondylosis or disc protrusion, it could be there. So this is all about foraminal compression test. While doing this test, if patient is complaining that pain is coming from the opposite side or opposite side is painful, that means there might be some muscle spasm. This is also called a spurling sign. So this is all about foraminal compression test.